Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. It's time to do another uh, unboxing video and I picked up something. This guy right here, the Red Cat Racing Piranha. So this is an Amazon exclusive. Bought this on Amazon, I've got an Amazon Prime membership and uh, they sent it out to me I think in two days. So what is this? This is possibly the best deal in all of RC. I got this for $66 from Amazon. It's a ready to run, one tenth scale electric stadium track or truck or whatever you call it. So uh, I saw some videos on this from, I think it's Moodogs, Frugal RC, JTRC did a review of this. And it looked like a pretty good vehicle. And I'm always happy to support companies that are putting out good products at good prices. And so this is arguably, this is possibly, the best day you can spend your money on. So this cost me $66. Uh, the price varies quite a bit on Amazon depending on the day, the hour, etc. So you can definitely see the, the price fluctuate. It is an Amazon exclusive from my understanding. Um, Best Buy also sold a similar vehicle called the Cyclone, which was like a buggy version. And then Red Cat came out with a uh, like truggy version, two wheel drive truggy version uh, and sold it through Amazon. So hopefully they'll be able to sell a bazillion of these and they'll be wildly successful. That's my hope, but um, I'm kind of doing my part to make that happen. So uh, let's do a little unboxing. Gonna cut open the box. So this is the box as it came from Amazon. Obviously I have not actually opened it yet. So we are going to see what is inside. Uh, pretty plain, simple looking box here. It's plain brown cardboard, giant piranha picture on it, and uh, Red Cat, fast, affordable, fun. So, this is my very first Red Cat vehicle. I have not owned any of them. I did consider getting a Gen 8, but my buddy got one, and then I already had a TRX4, and I was like, ah, okay, well, whatever. I guess I won't buy it. But, anyway, so let's uh, take this out. So, it's all kind of wrapped in cardboard. Looks like the wing, a uh, fairly flimsy wing. Maybe some little spacers or, uh, I don't know what those are. Maybe you put them on top and then you run the uh, body clips through it. But uh, painted black, nice, simple thing. Uh, that's pretty much it for uh, what, well, okay. This is kind of a cool looking vehicle. Nice looking body. Before we get into that, let's open this up, which I presume is the radio. So $66 for an RTR, that is just craziness. And not only $66 for an RC car, you can find stuff like that from Asia, from uh, those Chinese online marketplaces. But to find one that's actually supported by a legitimate company like Red Cat uh, really piqued my interest because the last thing I want to do is buy a product seem like I'm promoting it and then um, people go out and buy one and then not be able to actually fix it when they break it so okay I got some simple instructions turn on radio not push or pull power on radio looks like it takes three seconds or something uh, so this is the radio 2.4 gigahertz I assume I like how they have the instructions on the actual radio. So like, if this is your very first RC car, like you don't even have to look at a manual. Everything's right there on your radio. So to turn the radio, turn radio on first, to turn on radio, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so popping that open. Looks like four double A's, very nice. I think this is a very simple radio. Only has trim and uh, servo reversing as well as just a power switch and LED. Uh, actually has foam on the wheel. Nice touch, um, fairly small wheel. Uh, trigger feels, uh, okay. But very basic, I mean, what do you expect for $66? Also comes with a wall charger, ridiculous. So yes, as I understand it, this comes with a wall charger, which means it must come with a battery. So this charger looks like, okay, nickel metal hydride, outputs one amp. Um, seven cell and okay well one amp that's not horrible it sounds like you should be able to charge a car in a probably a couple hours at one amp depending on the size of the battery all right get the 
box out of the way. Here we go with the manual. So it comes with the four double A's for the actual radio. Very nice. Let's pop open the instructions. I'll leave the best for last. So for those of you who don't know, Red Cat's bread and butter is to basically take Chinese RC cars, make an actual like decent manual, instruction manual, and more importantly, uh, support all the parts so you can actually fix your RC car when you break it. And then they provide like US support. So you have somebody to call, uh, you can order parts online, they can help you fix your car, etc. So having a problem where you're acting funny, from what I understand there, their support is really, really good. So we'll have to see. So anyways, Piranha TR10, a uh, few things in other languages, uh, features and specs, one tenth scale, blah, blah. Says the servo is waterproof. It is three kilograms, which is pretty dang weak. Uh, quick overview of what the actual parts are, how to use the radio, okay. That's pretty much it and some parts. So not a whole lot of information in that. Not a big deal for me, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Nickel metal hydride chargers. So these are, I guess, upgrades. So you can get better chargers for your battery, which you probably might want to do. Hexfly, I guess, is the brand of the stuff they actually use electronics-wise. So a bunch of different batteries. I think this comes with a battery. I hope it comes with a battery. All right, so here's the actual body. Paint job is really nice. You actually have this nice blue metallic, very pretty, very pretty body. Um, Fairly narrow looking. I mean, for a truggy, this has got really skinny wheels and tires. Uh, okay, those shocks <laughs> have like no damping in them whatsoever. This has like too much damping. Okay, <laughs> we'll have to see if we can tune the shocks a little bit because I don't know if something's rubbing or what, but yeah, the front shocks don't feel quite. Right. Uh, nice angled body clips, I like that. Pulling those off. These are on upside down for some reason. Oh no, I guess they just flipped. Pull those off. Here's a little wing mount. Pretty nice. And so, yeah, the actual body, fairly thin, silk screen, good graphics. Um, these are stickers for the windows. Fairly attractive. Actually, it looks kind of like a Camaro. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's like a Camaro on the front of this thing. Um, but yeah, nice stickers. Actually, it says Red Cat, so it is labeled. Here is the actual vehicle. So it does come with a battery. Let's see if we can get that out. I'm curious what kind of battery that is. A uh, little hold down for your plugs. Nice. Hexfly 2000 um, nickel, 2000 milliamp nickel. This is actually a pretty nice looking battery. I mean, it doesn't look super like cheapo. This, this is decent, dude. I like that. Oh, okay, a little warnings. Shiny metallic black very cool looking obviously in the colors i prefer red black and silver uh i forgot what these plugs are called not quite ec5 or whatever but um maybe ec5 compatible we'll have to see um the esc and motor so as i understand this is a combo esc and receiver uh, i don't know what size motor this is they make it look like there's a slipper, but I don't believe it actually has a slipper. Yes, yeah, there's a little plug there. Um, but yeah, simple brush motor. Looking, at, okay, let's go through this vehicle front to black, my initial impressions. Um, plastics seem fine. I like the reinforced front bumper and stuff. Um, tiny, tiny shock towers. This truck is skinny and yeah, about the right length, but definitely skinny. I mean, it, I think they basically just took a buggy, threw on the same size wheels all around, and then called it a stadium truck with the, or a truggy with the, the truggy body. So this really looks more like a buggy, which makes sense because um, this is based off the Cyclone, which is a buggy. Rear motor, ESC way up high, giant little mounting system here, um, but yeah, Preload is adjusted through little uh, threaded adjusters, plastic shock bodies and caps. Uh, steel looks like three millimeter shock shafts. Um, removable shock cups, nice. 
actual different uh, settings for your uh, shock positions. That's cool. Phillips head uh, screws. What else we got here? It looks like bushings there in the wheels. So maybe something you want to upgrade. 2.8 inch looking wheels. Uh, what the heck? Okay, something really weird with these tires. There's like a, it's like hard spots on them. Okay, very hard rubber, not much grip, uh, not much tread. Uh, I heard these were not good. I can see why. I mean, one of the problems is there's just no um, actual like uh, space for foam. It does feel like there's something there, although I'm not really sure what exactly is in this thing. Very, very hard foams. Uh, springs in the rear feel actually undersprung, whereas the fronts are like oversprung with not enough damping. Steel out drives, very, very cool. I don't know what these mounts are. Um, looks like actually different arms front and rear so that's nice to see arms are quite skinny but people have said this thing is reasonably uh, sturdy probably partly due to it doesn't go like super fast or anything uh, looks like there's mounts for maybe nerf bars or something so it looks like a vehicle that um, they probably intended to uh, use for different purposes so Something goofy going on with the front end here. Hmm. Definitely I'm gonna have to play with these springs. These springs are just way too, they're just way too stiff. I mean, I think there's a fair amount of tuning you will want to do on this to get this to drive better. Just from what I've seen, I mean, it didn't look like it was driving quite right. Okay, well anyways, uh, let's see what else we got. So servo mounted down there. Looks like maybe you can get at it just by popping off these screws, battery mount tray. Uh, metal servo saver on there. Single post for the bell cranks. Interesting design. Quite a bit of, oh, actually no. Not, not that much flex in the steering system. Actually reasonably tight steering system. On off switch here. So yeah, um, I don't know what else there is to say about this. Four millimeter nuts, front and rear. It seems like a pretty decent car. I mean, for the price, I mean, this has got to be an amazing value, but um, it seems like a decent platform that you can make some uh, upgrades or even just tune a little bit, adjustable body posts, height, a um, couple different positions for the shocks on the shock towers as well and the bottom. Looks like reversible uh, rear arms. So you could probably buy a set of two and use them on either side is what I'm seeing here. Fronts look directional though. Left and right are a little different. Okay, I don't know what else there is to say. Seems like a decent vehicle. I'm gonna drive this stock and then probably go into the workshop and fix the shocks a little bit, see if I can improve those a little bit, cause yeah, they're not quite right. Um, they feel almost like a Tamiya Hornet, man. The amount of, the front is way too hard and stiff. You can hear that? Your RC car should not be sounding like that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe to my channel as always, uh, and look for more videos soon. I'm gonna be doing a little running of this thing and then uh, some more videos. All right, take care.